Hello everyone and welcome back to Robe Reviews, the show where one opinionated man in a bathrobe watches and critiques movies. I promise I'm going to review a movie that I actually enjoy watching. Unfortunately, today is not that day. This is going to be a quick one because for some strange reason I decided to sit down and watch Godzilla vs. Kong. We need Kong. The world needs him. Written by five different people, directed by Adam Wingard, this is another entry into the monster universe we should all know by now. There have been individual King Kong movies, individual Godzilla movies, and actually back in 1962, there was a movie where Godzilla and Kong faced off for the very first time. So essentially, this is just a remake with all the bells and whistles that a 2021 production can offer. I watched this on a whim one day looking for a little cheap entertainment, so I'm just going to dive straight into my thoughts. I got my robe tied tight, microphone at the ready, so without any further ado, let's get into it. What I really wanted, most of all, out of this movie was just a fun monster movie that is ridiculous and over the top for all the right reasons. Unfortunately, what we got was a monster movie with some dramatic story and conspiracy story just jammed down our throats for no reason. Nope. This movie takes itself way too seriously and to its detriment. I think what people really want when they go watch one of these movies is just cheap fun, a few good laughs, and crazy CGI sequences, and monsters just fighting it out. But unfortunately, it's just not over the top enough. Nope. We get King Kong killing some strange monsters along the way and the big final battle that everyone expects with Godzilla and Kong. We get buildings crashing down in every direction in the cliche image that we all imagine on our heads when we see this movie. Wow. The CGI is cool and the sequences can be fun to watch, but it's just not nearly enough. Nope. Really the best aspect of this movie is the little girl who has the best performance out of anyone. Her acting is great and I connected to her more than any other character or monster on screen. Wow. It's supposed to be a, a mindless monster movie and just some cheap entertainment and thrills, um, but when they add the dramatic element and try to take itself seriously, they end up failing at both the monster movie and the drama. Nope. So as is tradition on this channel, I'm going to give this score a movie out of 100. I give this score a movie out of 100. I give this score a movie out of 100. Wow. So, drumroll please. This is our only chance. A score of 45. Really, I just want to have fun with a movie like this, and I didn't. I went in with seriously low expectations, and even those weren't met. When a movie with gigantic, fighting, mythical monsters tries to take itself seriously, I just can't do it. I wanted more comedy, more laughs, more light moments, um, and they just took it the wrong direction. So anyways, hoping for a better movie the next time around. A lot more movies to watch and a lot more reviews to be had. I'll see you on the next one.